Hello Morales community, my name is Joseph and I am your Web3 instructor. Now in this video, we're going to go through the get token metadata endpoint, which is part of the Morales token API. With this endpoint, we can gather data such as the name, the symbol or the logo for the specific contract. Now, before I show you the code and before we go through the documentation, let me demonstrate how the app actually works. For this example, I'm going to go to CoinMarketCap and use Uniswap. So I'm going to copy this contract address from here and paste it in into our uh, input field. I'm going to choose Ethereum as my chain, hit submit, and there we can see the data that I decided to show. Now you have a little bit more to play around with. So let's go through the documentation and see what that is. So we have addresses being one of the parameters and it is being the only required amount. For this example, we're going to play around with only one address. But what's cool about this endpoint is that you can use multiple contract addresses and get that data with only one request. Now we also have chain as a parameter. By default, this is going to be Ethereum but we're going to decide that via the drop down menu. Then you also have provider URL and also subdomain, which you can use if you have a local dev chain. Now our application is built with Next.js and we have our backend in Node. So we're going to use the Node.js SDK. If you have another backend language, you can choose your own preferences from here or from this drop down menu. But even if you decide to go with Node, you have still a few options. You can either choose to use the Node.js SDK that Morales provides us, or if you're more familiar, familiar or comfortable using Axios, you can click that, or Node Fetch, then you can cl click that one, and then you have uh, more instructions on how to use that uh, fetch request instead. We're going to use Morales Node.js SDK, so let's go to that one. Uh, we can actually paste that Uniswap address here, click the try it to see the example of the response that we're getting back. And here we have it. We have the address, we have the name, the symbol, the decimals, the logo, thumbnail, um, and created ad and so on. So we have a little bit of data to play around with. Now I decided to keep this application very clean and very simple. So let's jump straight into the code and I will show you how you can create this as well. So here we are in Visual Studio Code and I have created a root folder called get metadata by contract. Within that one, I have a front end folder and the back end. So let's start with back end and with package JSON because we're going to need to install a few dependencies to use for this application. One of them being cores that we need because we want to send parameters from our front end to the back end and then use those parameters to do our API calls towards Morales. We're going to install .env because we don't want to show our API key. We want to use an env variable. I'm going to show you how to do it, but make sure you install this one. Also, we're going to install Express because that's our server and then Morales because we need that to do our API requests. So let's go into index.js file where we are firing up our Express server on port 5001. Now we need to require both Morales and cores in order for us, for us to use these dependencies and also .env because that's how we keep our API key private. So talking about API keys, one way of doing it is to declare a variable right here and then paste your API key right here, which we don't want to do. Instead, create, create a .env file in the root of your backend folder in here, create your variable. I decided to name my Morales API key and then paste your API key in here. Now, if you don't have an API key, make sure you go to morales.io and click the start for free button. This will let you create your own free account. And once you've done that, make sure you log in. I already have my account, so I'm logged in and then go to web three APIs. And here is your API key. Copy this one, go back to Visual Studio Code and paste it in right here. Save this file and close it up. Now we can go back to index.js, use the process.env keywords and then our variable name. 
and that's as easy as that now we can use this key without actually showing it now on the bottom here we are using the start function that Morales provides us and we send the API key as a parameter. This opens up the gate so we can do API calls towards Morales. And at the same time, we're listening, we're listening to our port. So this means our server is up and running. Now in our backend, we only need to do one request. So I've created this slash contract endpoint. And once we hit that, we're going to do a request using EVM API to the get token metadata endpoint. We're going to use two parameters once we're doing this request, which is addresses and chain. So these two uh, parameters or these two values, we're actually taking this from the front end. We're sending that to the back end and then we're using this to make our API call. Now let's jump to the front end and see how this actually is happening. I'm going to close this one down and minimize the back end. And in front end, we can actually start with package.json here as well. Because I have installed Axios and React Select, which are two libraries, one for doing the fetch request to our server, and then one for creating beautiful drop-down menus. So index.js within the page folder is our home page. And in here, we're rendering two, two components, the header and the main. So if we start with the header, let me actually zoom in a little bit more. Uh, here you can see that we have the logo, which is on the top left corner of our application and the title itself. But in main, that's where everything is happening. So we need to import both Axios and React Select in order for, for us to use these two dependencies. Now for the drop-down menu, I'm gonna use three uh, opportunities here, Ethereum Network, Gorli, and Mumbai. And the values of each and every one of them needs to be their specific chain ID. Now, if you're not sure about the chain ID or you want to use another network, let's go back to uh, docs.moralis.io slash docs slash cross chain requests. Here, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see the supported EVM chains and their respective chain ID. So if you want to use another one besides the ones I've used, make sure you check the chain ID from here and use the correct ones. Otherwise, your request will fail. Now back to the code, I have added some styling to the drop down menu and we need now to store the different values that's provided in our application. One of them being the chain value, which we're going to set to an empty string. But then we have show results, which is set to false. We have the result itself, which is set to an empty array in the beginning. And then we have the address as well, which is also set to an empty array. Now, once you click the drop down menu and select the specific chain you want to use, that this value here will be changed to that specific one. Now, once you hit the submit button, that's when we want to extract the input field value, which is the contract address. The input field value has an ID of contract address, and we can select that one by taking this value right here and pushing that into the address array. Then we take the chain value, which is the chain ID itself from the state and storing it into chain. Now we can use Axios to make a get request to our server, which is on port 5001 slash contract because that was the endpoint we created and we can send the address and the chain as parameters which we later on extract in the backend server and use those values to make requests to, to the api now once the response is coming back to our backend we're sending that as it is to the front end and i want to console log that as it is for you so you can see how the response actually looks like so open up inspector console and right here under data and but since we only had one address we only have one uh, index right here if we open that up you can see that this is exactly the same as in the morales api it is very clean and very simple you can take values such as the address um, the decimals the logo the name the symbol out of this object and display that to the user that's the way we've done it right here so let me show you how that would look like. So since we only want the data index, we can 
just take it out like this and store this in the result variable we created on top. Then we want to display the result, so we're setting that to true. And then we want to empty both the input field and the drop down menu. Now, in the return, that's where everything gets rendered. So we have the form, which we've gone through, and we also have the submit button, which is basically just a button uh, firing the handle submit function. But below the button, that's where we have this section with the results. And since the result is an array, we can map through that and extract the values that we want to show. In our case, we want to show the thumbnail, we want to show the name, and we also want to show the symbol of the contract. So it's as easy as that. We don't need more code than this. And as I said before, what's cool about this, you can combine it and evolve this application to add maybe multiple input fields for multiple addresses. And then you can get the data of multiple contracts at the same time in just one request. Now let's go back to the application and close this one down. Update it. Let's go to CoinMarketCap and choose Polygon instead. I just want to show you that this works the same way with different addresses. So I have copied this one from here. I'm going back to the application, pasting that in, choosing Ethereum, and there we have the Matic token showing up and its logo as well. So guys, it's as easy as that. You can use the Morales uh, API to get this data very quick. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to our channel. I will post the link to the GitHub repo for this code below this video. And I hope I will see you in the next one.